every space kraken buddy here we are finally with a game called the outer worlds um, i was able to grab this for free well not for free but i get to play this for three months using an xbox gaming pass or i think it's called xbox live pass i chose it for pc so all of the games that are a part of the pc xbox pass i get to play and the Outer Worlds was on there. Uh, Wasteland 3 will be on there. So, you know, there's a cu couple of them that come out in the next few months. I'll be able to play all those. So we'll kind of, that will be our emergency lifeboat for uh, big AAA games. And this is a AAA game. Uh, and we're going to hop into it. I've never touched it. I don't know much about it. Let's just uh, go in there and have fun. And we're going to see if we like it. We'll check and see if the audience wants me to continue. You know, we'll do this one stream for sure. And if and if everyone likes it, then we'll just keep going with it too. Oh, hey, so yeah, now I have to say hi to everybody really quick and then we can get going. Yeah, this game is on Xbox Game Pass. Yes, it is, Harry Leeds. Okay, so Harry Leeds uh, is here and he and for sure it is. Uh, Snufflepagus and I both confirmed that it's on for PC and for Xbox. So even if you have a PC, you can still play it clearly because we're about to play it. Uh, hey, Shark Gaming, what's up? Yeah, it's like it's like the fall at New Vegas that we never got. <laughs> okay, and then Sonic is here. Hey, Sonic0731. Um, Mr. Milkshaft is here. Guten Abend, Herr Milkshaft. Um, and Snufflepagus is here. Meg Weeding is here from um, Santa Cruz, California. We got, um, and I think uh, Oath Knigget will join us pretty soon. Um, anyway, let's get into the game. Now, we will, we might have some minor um, configuration issues, you know, just like graphics options, what we might have to dial down. I just don't know yet, okay? Um, so I'm going to start the game. Uh, you won't see it for a minute. Uh, then once we do start the game, you'll have to tell me about the volumes. You know, I want my voice to be louder than everything. I played back my last stream I did, and um, and, and that was of... Uh, Kaflickadiddy Kaflubanubin, um, Fallout 76, Ort. Uh, the music was too loud. Okay, I'm. Don't worry, I'm capturing the game. You should be able to see it in just a moment. In fact, you can see it right now. Yeah. Do, do. In fact, this is going to sound a lot like what you just heard. This is the main theme to the Outer Worlds. Now, the, the game should be uh, lower than my voice. Even right now, my voice should be a bit louder. Uh, but do let me know if there's some um, uh, volume issues and we'll correct them. Not to worry, we'll correct them. Oh, does it really have to do this? I can't believe this this damn interface. Yep, yep, it really isn't gonna let me do it. So I'm gonna have to do this. There we go, yeah, good. That actually will work out nicely. Yeah, so it is taking up a bit of my screen, but that's all right. Um, the resolution I have it set to is just slightly higher than 1920 by 1080, but um, it should be smooth. Good. And Ronald Rodriguez is here. Hey, Ronald. What's up? Okay, I'm going to drop the this volume. You know what? I think the, um, the game is pretty loud, but we'll get into the game now, okay? So this is the main screen. Um, and it's funny. It says Eastbound Corn. That just happens to be my Xbox name. I hope I can change that. Eastbound Corn. I don't want to be Eastbound Corn. 
Yeah, see, so uh, I have it playing in a window, actually, even though you see it full screen. You know, I'm actually using the rest of my monitor for the chat and stuff. Frame rate limit 60. See, this is the, this is 2048 by 1152. This is the closest resolution I could find. This is actually the same aspect ratio as 1920 by 1080. No vertical sync. I don't need that. Oh, let's not. Uh, and then I, I turn motion blur up, but we might change this. See, now look at my graphic settings. We got ultra, textures, ultra, shadows very high. We may have to change these, but, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that later. So the field of view is 75. We can change that later. Um, Moose sensitivity. Yeah, well, I know we're going to have to dial that down. We always have to dial that down. Okay, now let's get into it. Ooh, story mode. Okay, now, this is, um, if you're more interested in the story, this is normal difficulty, this is hard difficulty, and then this is supernova. Supernova is like Fallout New Vegas survival mode. Um, we can switch to supernova later, but why don't we start with hard? All right, typing ASMR. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're here, Ronald. Uh, and thank you everyone for being here. Uh, and if you could bring your friends in, uh, I do have to tweet this out really quick. So uh, we do have to tweet it out and then we'll get going, okay? Um, So long to discover the outer worlds, but I'm exploring in, I'm exploring the galaxy right now as we speak. Live on YouTube. Get in here. There it is. And that should be our, there, there's the tweet. It was as simple as that. There, we're done. Now let's, uh, yeah, why don't we start with hard? Now it says conversation subtitles on, yes. Show cinematic subtitles, yes. Let's just turn all the subtitles on so you can see them. What are bark subtitles? Oh, outside of conversations, yes. Oh, Halcyon. Okay, here we go. Here's the intro. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the air. Owned and operated by corporations. <laughs> a trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your yeah, very sure. own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. Blah with blah. A term of service, you will become the master of your own. I've been destiny. promised that before, you right? Out of this world to the Halcyon colony. Okay, so here is our uh, Streamlabs list right below. It shows everything that happens. Ooh, got a lot of new subscribers today, too. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing. Oh, Harry Lee says, that was the random gamer tag you get. You can change it for free. Good news, Harry. Okay, thanks for letting me know. No, and I don't even have a next box, so I'm okay. Hmm. So it might look low resolution, but it's because this is a camera. It's just a camera. His name is Phineas Vernon Wells. I hope that isn't me. Does that have to be me? Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Uh -huh. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. No, it's not disgraceful. You know, I can't actually see my frame rate. My frame rate isn't working. Oh, shit. Oh, here we are. Wow, attributes. Okay, let's start. Let's make our character.
yeah so this is going to be kind of for all of us you know and even if we do really like this game and we decide to keep streaming it this is going to be kind of a uh, character that we all made together uh, the only thing I would really like I'd like a really hot body so my body is high very this high twist the marauders head off oh no that comes later with appearance apparently you have to do this in order oh no these are these are the actual attributes <laughs> the new fallout yeah i'm sure that's what you meant but yeah <laughs> okay so uh what what should we do here personality do we have to oh wow so we have to we only have six points to spend here yeah anything's better than fallout 76 yeah okay so intelligence i think i i want to be intelligent so this affects oh yeah see so intelligence affects long guns persuade hack medical science and determination why don't we put two Okay, yeah, really smart and charismatic. Hacking science persuade is super important. Okay, uh, one or two. Or three. Finally, someone I can have a conversation with. <laughs> he's, he's kind of reacting to what, we're, uh, to what we're doing here. So why don't we add a little bit of strength? And then a little bit of dexterity? and maybe just a little bit of perception. But I don't have much of a personality. It's not Fallout, but it gives you Fallout vibes. I'd say Citizen did a great job. Yeah, it's supposed to give us like Fallout flashy backs. Um, so this looks pretty good. So temperament is like lie, sneak, medical. Charm is like, um, Persuade, lie. Yep, I'm playing it for sure. Time to grab food. Okay, okay, thanks, uh, Snuffles. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, um, how's that? Yeah, I think that's good. Let's move on. Uh, we can actually... Okay, next. Oh, there we go. There, now we're at skills. Oh my god, look at all these things. One-handed melee, two-handed melee, and we only get two points to start with. So we have to know, we have to kind of know ahead of time what we want to put it into. Determination increases the maximum health of your companions. Oh, uh, companions. Increases the damage inflicted by your companions. So these are like... Uh, Well, Fallout 76 is one of the worst. I would agree with that. Uh, and then defense. Yeah, let's look at defense. Each point defense significantly increases dodge and block skills up to 50 points each. You could have been a goalie for a tossball team. Oh, I see what we're doing here. So you pick one of the groups. Got it. Okay, melee. How about ranged? I know I'm going to be using shot. ranged weapons. Capital. Okay, what other what other one? I know I wanted range, but we could do melee. Um, I can do defense. I can do dialogue, which is improves your ability to talk with PCs. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, okay, stealth, dialogue, tech, and attack. Okay, maybe let's do tech. Because tech includes medical science and engineering, I, and I am a smarty pants, so the intelligence would probably help with tech. This is what I'm choosing. A real scientist. Whoa. Yeah, so range and tech, how does that sound? Okay, so it's either going to be stealth or tech. Um, I know I want ranged, but and then we'll move, we have to move on too because we have to uh, get up to aptitude and then appearance. I'd say use dialogue the most. Oh, really? 
dialogue improves your ability. Each point in dialogue significantly increases. Okay, um, Absolute Zero chose Tech, and then Meg chose Tech. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Tech. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Tech, and then I chose Tech anyway. So, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Ooh, yeah, be careful, Sonic. Okay, now here's aptitude. Uh, what is this? No discernible. So we only get what we only get. You like, are so much more than your designated. Position. That's it. Okay, select the character aptitude that your character possesses. Each aptitude corresponds to a small bonus. Oh yeah, no discernible aptitude. <laughs> and then determination plus one. The beverage service technician. These are like our first jobs or something. Oh, thank you so much, Oliver. Oh man. Yeah, I've got to change that too. Actually, let's uh, update the scrolling tips. I have to. I have to um, add Snufflumpagus's stuff from the last time. Thank you so much, Oliver. Oliver and um, what was his name? Oliver Smith. Oliver Smith and Snufflumpagus for the. Uh, it, oh, it's roughly uh, fifteen dollar tips. Thank you so much, everyone. Snufflepagus uh, gave me a bunch of little cute little uh, um, stickers so you can do sticker emojis now you know like the super chats you can also do sticker chats now or super stickers okay so there's bureaucrat rank zero and that's block plus one drink effect duration plus three percent cashier yeah we're, we're not going to spend too much time looking at these why don't i just uh kind of pick one elevator operations engineering plus one dodge plus one farmer dirt and ray damage minus three. Oh, really food effect duration plus three okay janitor sanitation class corrosion damage is less toss ball team is inspiration plus one medical technician is medical plus one safety inspector i think i'm going to be medical technician or i could be scientist assistant why don't i be uh let's do a uh, medical technician i hope you're comfortable with needles yeah i am comfortable with needles okay now i get to be a Ooh, he's hot He's, yep, just like, uh, well, not exactly like Fallout, but he's pretty sexy, just like that. You know, we're not going to spend much time with this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, we only have, we can only choose 15 different heads. He's actually pretty cute, just like that. I want him to be tanned. I like a tanned dude. Yeah, like that, actually. Uh-huh. And then eye color is going to be blau or green. We have to find a green. Yeah, but not quite like that. We're trying to find my actual eye color, which is actually a cross between not that That's, there's too much uh, hazel in that one. How about that? Yeah, yeah, just like that. That's good. And then brow horizontal. He, he's looking pretty good, just like it is. And then brow forward. Yeah, forward. And then you can probably change this, can't you, later on? And then eye horizontal. And this probably uh, brings him closer together he looks really good yeah actually I want it I size yeah I like big eyes so there you go I vertical yeah that's actually in exactly the right place jaw vertical ooh I like yeah I like that and then jaw mouth size a little bit bigger mouth vertical uh, noise size smaller nose is better yeah and then you know you can keep going on nose tilt I like the nostrils to flare just a little bit yeah there you go nose width that's fine yeah that's good yeah that's yeah 
Actually, nose voitical. Oh, we'll, we'll bring his nose up a little bit. That looks good. What do you think? Yeah, it's kind of fun. I, I, I think it's a lot of fun to do this stuff. Okay, 21 people here. Wow, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. We're going to get through this. It just takes a few seconds. Uh, nose vertical, uh, cheeks. Let's, let's, I want, I want him to have cute little uh, squeezable cheeks. Yeah. And then his hair, um, hair, yeah, let's find a good hairstyle. I'll, I might just do that, but first of all, we need his hair color this color. But I can't seem to get it to this color. Wait a minute. Yeah, kind of like that. That looks hot. Eyebrow style. Actually, I kind of liked the very first one. Yeah, it turns out they just kind of uh, picked exactly the right. Why would you do that? That looks like crap. That just turned out to be what I wanted. So no facial hair. I don't like any facial hair. Oh, are you kidding me? And then facial hair color. Well, we don't have any facial hair, so it doesn't matter. Uh, hairstyle. Yeah, let's find a good hairstyle. Ooh, yeah. No, 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 no. Here, let's look in the back. I want some long hair. If it looks good. Now that looks pretty hot. Oh my god, that looks good. La. And it's a really good. Ah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I look like a girl. Oh, that is so sexy. Oh my god, that's so sexy. They have. Look at these hairstyles. Oh man, there it is. There's me. And now we get into. Oh, come on. Now that looks a little silly, doesn't it? Ah! I don't need to look like a woman. There, that looks good too. Actually, a lot of these look good. I, I hope you can change your hairstyle in the game, can't you? So I did get my, uh, we actually tried to fix my hair color. Now the hair color is almost right. I just have to do some uh, purple color correction, you know, over the next week or so, and then we'll be good. Okay, there's the man bun, but that's not how I do my man bun. That looks silly. Um, come on, I need I need some good, come on, let's pick a hairstyle. You know, of all the hair that they have here, the one that looks the closest to my hair is actually this one. But that looks too much like a woman. Yeah, I, I don't have that kind of, it's like an atomic, you know, that's like a nuclear bun at the top. Let's just pick something. Ah, oh, just pick something. Here, I'm just going to start pushing buttons and see what happens. That looks, yeah, that doesn't look too girlish. And there's, he's even got a braid too. There it is. Why don't we start with this? Yeah, we'll, we'll change it later. Remember, you can change it. Now the, now the hair color itself isn't quite right. Because now that I can see what... It is, actually. That was the right hair color. Yeah, there's no other hair color. That's not the right color. The one that we had was there, right there. They don't give you a whole lot of a, uh, there, my age is really young. Yeah, I don't have any, well, we could find a scar. Yeah, let's do one little scar. It adds a little, ooh, that's hot. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh, that's sexy. I got slashed by a pterodactyl. Doit. Yeah, let's, let's be slightly dirty. Ah, oh, so dirty. <laughs> there you go. And then makeup. Okay, we're not gonna... No, we don't need makeup. Unless there's this really cool um, tattoo thing, which I don't think there is. That's, that's hot. If that were a gold leaf, I might do that. 
That looks pretty neat. But I don't really see anything. Okay, that's good. Let's just do this for now. I know it looks kind of a little weird, but um, we'll change. We can change his, his appearance later, okay? His name will be um, uh, Dragon. Oh, Dragon Fleeting. That's his last name, Dragon Fleeting. Okay, enter, accept, and here's our summary. Spacer's choice is dying to meet you. Yes. And then next, and then here's the summary of us. Da -da -da -da. Oh, there we go. Okay, all righty. And thank you, everyone, for being here. We got 19 people here. Thank you so much. Um, and off we go. I'm sorry it took us so long to get our character created, but um, we've got it created. We're off. Let's see. Now, this is kind of like the intro. This must be the intro to the Looks game. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Oh, yes? Okay, I think I might have to drop the game volume a little bit, the master volume. How does that sound? I want you to be able to hear me a lot a lot better than the game. Let me know if that's too low. Not likely, bootlickers. And if you have some hard time um, listening to the characters, well, I've got all the subtitles turned on. Terra 2, orbiting laboratory in the Halcyon system. Wow, that looks like fun. I can't believe we're finally in space. Fall at New Vegas in space? That would be great. Hmm. 23 people. Woo! Thank you so much. And again, thank you, um, uh, Oliver, for that little that tip. And Oh, game volume can be a little bit louder. Wow. Okay, I turned yeah, it up are. just a little bit. Let me know if that's now, okay. Eh? Oh. A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Uh -huh. It was inexplicably knocked out of but remember, the the game should be lower than my voice. You have to be able to hear me over the game. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh. Hey, John, what's up? Not to worry. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colleagues. Chemical supplies. Okay, so it looks like we have to procure chemical supplies. There's Tattered Up. Okay, so we have to procure medical supplies, apparently. Uh-oh. <gasps> so I guess this was a, uh, a bathysphere that we're in. That's what it looked like. Your name is a reference to a line from Harmageddon? Oh yeah, Harmageddon? What is that, like smash him up derby? Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. There he now, is. Uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. Mm -hmm. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. Okay. He used to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You mm. like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so okay. I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Okay, good. You can check in with me. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on. You. And hopefully he shuts up. Okay, so we're entering the atmosphere. Um, oh yeah, the graphics remind you of Dishonored. It's supposed to remind you of like um, Fallout New Vegas and Rapture or um, Bioshock. It's supposed to remind you of Bioshock. Hopefully it's better than Dishonored. Well, I like Dishonored. I like Dishonored 2 a lot. 
but I'm weird. Ooh. You've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. Wow. Lost name? Is that him? Oh, that mm -hmm. idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> okay, oh, wow, here we are. Better you than the board, huh? So I can not walk sure this I way? It's performing really well head. so far. Shame about the whole squad can I loot thing. this? Nasty way to go. Whoa, look at that. That looks really good. Yeah, we're getting a minor frame rate drop, but um, we'll we'll look at our settings in a bit. You know, if this is too much for my graphics card to handle right now, then we can always drop the uh, um, the quality later. You just kind of have to let me know just how uh, twitchy it is. <gasps> what is that? Wow. So there's a moon. And you can see, uh, you can see some um, uh, air traffic. That's pretty cool, huh? All right. Well, this is kind of like exiting the vault. See, we just landed on, um, landed right here. That was our pod, and now we have to kind of figure out where everything is and what to do here. So, um, I guess J would be the journal, right? Yeah. Stranger in the strange land. Phineas needs your help to set things right in Halcyon, but you'll need transportation first. Okay. And we ha we haven't really completed anything yet. Yeah, I agree. It does remind me kind of like Black Reach. And this is just one planet. Remember, there are multiple planets. And this there. See, so now we learned how to jump. Aw, look. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's so far it's performing okay. And I do have a little bit of motion blur. So when I go back and forth, you should see the motion blur. And I like that. It's That's kind of meant to be that way. So left control will crouch. Okay, fine. Yeah, and to sneak. Ooh, the sneak mechanism like in uh, Fallout and Skyrim. It's the same sneak mechanism. See that? Awesome. Good. Now I can hold down left shift. It's the same keyboard. It's the same keyboard commands. And of course you can remap them to your heart's desire, but yeah, doesn't this feel like Bioshock? It feels like you just landed in a bathosphere. Okay, I'm yeah, I'm sprinting. Ooh, left control is crouch to sneak and avoid detection. Okay, let's avoid detection. Oh, this guy is sleeping. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other covered hide from enemies. Use this mystique by cannabis or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Uh, but I'm going to take his Adreno. Ah, 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 ah. Good. I took. I, I already stole something from somebody. Let's start looting everything. What's in here? Yeah, you can use tall grass, and that actually, the grass will actually help to. Ah, uh, oh, check it out. That's awesome. Look. I'm like matting the grass down. Arr, neat. Okay, so now we're here. The awareness meters over your enemy heads tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Okay. So let's uh, find out where our enemy is. Uh, thank you everyone for being here. Now stay here. Stick around. We're getting used to the game. This is my first time touching it. I know very little about this game, but I know plenty about Obsidian. So hopefully that might help a little bit. See, he sort of knows I'm here, but not necessarily. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it help to know if I have uh, anything in my inventory? So I don't have any weapons yet. So he didn't even give me any weapons. I do have armor, and my armor plating is just a hibernation suit, which probably doesn't do much. But I have no weapons. I did loot something. I love uh, consumables. Okay, your emergency medical inhaler. Okay, there I looted Adreno. I did. I I, and I can hotkey things. See. Good. Yeah. 
modifications, quests, junk, and there's the journal, and then here's my map. And currently we're on the Emerald, in the Emerald Vale, but I don't know what planet we're on. Hey, Aaron Schuster. Oh, actually, I like it. Um, you know, there's no issues at all so far. You know, I'm just learning the game, but uh, Aaron, or Aaron, so far, um, I don't have any complaints at all yet. Oh, you can power jump. Watch this. What is, it says space bar times two. Oh, he's pissed off now. I would be pissed off too if I saw somebody jump. Uh oh. Okay, let's keep going. Well, I'm kind of like crouched. I don't need to be crouched. <gasps> what is that? You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh, this is hibernation sickness. It will pass in time. Oh. Little kaflippiditties. Aren't these, aren't they cute? Little kaflippiditties. So now what? I have to, somehow I have to get down there. Oh, I see. Jump back. Space bar is to jump back. Got it. Okay. Well, I don't know how to, I guess I just fall down here. This doesn't seem like something I should be doing, but okay. You have low health, ah. I think it was meant to do that, see? Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. There, now I'm back up to full health. Hey, madam, what's up? Okay, so uh, I really do like the game. You know, I, I, just, I just barely started, but Ooh, Sand Police. Oh my god, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, Sand Police. I really appreciate it. Let me add that to our tips really quick. Hang on, this only takes a minute. Uh, sand Police, Oliver Smith and Snuffleupagus for the $35 tips. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, your ass just woke up. <laughs> hey, are you, uh, hey, Madam Ar uh, are you streaming tonight? Um, if you're wondering, uh, Madam Roast Beef also has a channel, and he streams a lot of interesting games that I don't play, like Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th. He streams Borderlands 3, which I've never touched. But finally, I get to touch the Outer world. so hopefully... And so far, it performs really well. I'm not having any performance issues. What am I supposed to do with him? I, I don't even have a, a weapon. What am I supposed come here. Huh? Who? Me? Me? Oh, I guess he's talking to me, okay. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Space was choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Hey, he looks like me. Why does he look sorta of like me? Getting food poisoning is definitely not fun. Hey, out of toast. Oh, X out of toast. <laughs> Let's see, Madam, oh, Milk is here. Yeah, uh, Mr. Milk is uh, in Serbia. Uh, sit still, I'll patch you up. Now remember, I have medical, I have a medical buff. So why don't we, why don't we heal him up? Huh. Looks like the there. breathing stopped. See, I, owe you one. I use my medical you don't mind expertise. Me this little exchange for my report. Uh -huh. Space's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay. How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. Mm -hmm. I might have bled out on my own, or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. Uh -huh. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Yeah, we saw then the marauders. My fired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Oh shit! I scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Okay, so uh, well, what were you doing out there anyway? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. Oh. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hullheads grounded their spacecraft out in the open, 
That's a real good way to attract marauders. Oh, I think he's talking about me. I think I did that. From sniffing around in here, I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Oh, not yet, uh, Madam will speak, but maybe, you know, the, this is kind of like a community uh, character, so we can do anything you guys want. Um, see those canisters? Marauders come sniffing around, and I can take them out with a single shot. Yeah. Um, we could, let's see, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Yes, I need a gun. I need a gun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around. Good. Gun. Now I got a gun. Spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber, too. For patching me up and all. But well, it's kind of like forcing you to be in this conversation, right? Yeah. It's the only thing I don't like about this. Okay. Um, I'm off, or do you know anything about hope? About the hope? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you an anti Cleo or something? What? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Uh, yeah, can you tell me where I am? Which planet? You hit your head or something? Yeah, I'm in Emerald, in vale. Emerald vale. Yes, I know. We're a spacer's choice community. Okay. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, you can't... Oh, yes, I can. If you hit enter, he shuts up. Good. I'm off. Bye. Okay, so I could, I could shoot him, actually. How do you aim? Just like that. That would be fun to, like, shoot him. What's your... Pick up a mag pick. What the hell is a mag pick? Oh, this is junk. Gourmet salt tuna fillets. And this is dehydrated water tablets. How do you dehydrate water, please? That does that sounds uh unlikely. Let's see. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? Oh nothing. Well, I've already looted some. Ooh, what's this? Um, I think we're going to have to blow that apart, right, to move forward. So everybody starts out with this area. Yeah, pick up some more of that. Pick up tartara sauce, pre-sliced bread, and fast ration pill. Good. Got all kinds of good stuff. And then in here, probably you can find it somewhere. How would you, uh, like, actually... There, see? You can inspect it. Yeah, see, this is so much like Fallout, isn't it? Hey, Havon Stevens, what's up? Havon Stevens is here. Hey, Havon. Oh, good. You got home okay? Great. Good to hear. Oh, mag picks are essentially this game's equivalent to bobby pins or lick, okay, or lock picks. Didn't even know you could double jump in this game. Yeah, so it's it's actually like a dodging maneuver. See, it goes backwards. Good. Um, but now I think we've looted the hell out of everything, right? Okay, so we're getting used to looting, and now we know how to loot. Let's move forward. Okay. So it should tell us what to do now. The smuggler you're meeting took your meeting location. I guess it means the ship is yours if you can find it. Okay, so I guess we have to shoot this. Yep, you have to shoot. Oh, I killed him. I didn't mean to kill him. I was just trying out my weapon. And Sprat Hide? Yeah, we might as well loot his hide while we're at it, right? We could go back and... Oh, see, this is the hibernation sickness. Uh-oh. See? Hibernation complications. So tactical time dilation. Your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time button slows down the world, giving you time to think. Good. So this is sort of like bats. Yeah, so we have two hours to go yet. Uh, slick roads, but you made it up the hill all right. Yeah. We had we had a hailstorm, actually. Oh, you can even dash in midair. Yeah, tactical time dilation. So this is sort of like bats. Let's check it out. 
Oh yeah, this is like, and I think you use up action points, right? Or something. Yeah, you have to, it uses up your action points, which are the blue. Now watch, watch. See, see the blue up there, or the purple? Some objects explode when hit. Shoot them when enemies are nearby for an explosive surprise. Just don't get too close. Explosions can cause concussions. What, do these explode? Ah. <laughs> I shot a mushroom. Oh shit! Well, what? Please die. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit! Come on, headshot. Uh, time dilation. There, got him. How did I do? Uh, uh oh. Oh shit! Okay, I'm getting used to this game still. I need to get used to the game. Yes, I, I agree. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good trick. How many frickin' health does he have? Holy crap. So he has a sentry saber. Now I have a melee weapon. All right, now we got a melee weapon. <laughs> yep, I loot everything. I don't think I've missed any loot yet, have I? Bit cartridge, light ammo, and a light pistol. Got a light pistol now. This is, this feels like uh, Fallout. Yeah, it does. It really does. So thank you everyone for being here, by the way. we got 25 people here. Maybe bring a friend in. Let them know that I'm trying this out for the first time. The old Colby House, the Fallout freak on YouTube is now trying out Obsidian's new game. This is the only non-Fallout game I've tried by Obsidian. I mean, it's the only... I mean, besides Fallout New Vegas, this is the first time I've ever touched an Obsidian game. You killed everyone? Well, I've killed every... No, I haven't killed everyone yet. Hacking and picking locks. This is just like Fallout. Bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Okay, so bypass and mag picks. Okay. You will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used to speed up the process. So we don't actually have to play those stupid mini games, do we? What is it? So it'll take five I see what we have to do we have to pick up that pick up a mock apple and this is a bunch of nanners and a mag pick now we can open it up yeah it's a telescoping staff. Wow, that's nice. The iconic spacer's choice can be modified in many ways for additional costs. Now available on Mark II. Ooh. It does damage per second. Wow. What is hold to break down? And you can break things down? Nice. Well, Obsidian will never buy the rights to Fallout. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely uh, Bethesda and ZeniMax's uh, franchise now. They're going to milk the hell out of it. They can make more money out of Fallout than Obsidian could. That's for sure. Because Bethesda knows how to suck our money, don't they? Now, just because we'd want that, I'd like to see that too, actually. I'd like to see somebody else take the reins on the Fallout franchise. But, well, Bethesda's got it now. They're not leaving it. They're not giving it up. <laughs> A bunch of manners. Yeah, does that even work if you eat them? Watch this. Uh, use. This does not look right. He doesn't even look, uh, this does not look the same, like the same character that I made. <laughs> but I like that, don't you? That's neat. Okay, what's this? This is fish sticks. Yeah, base health plus 25, last two minutes. Oh, I see, this will increase your maximum health. Got it. Okay, well, let's keep going, I guess, right? Um, we're getting more used to this, but uh, I also, to the interface, but I also want to see our melee weapons. Will you stop doing that? Will you please stop doing that every time I open it up? There we go. So, 73, so these two are, looks they look identical they are they're identical now this pistol is um 
the, exactly the same as mine. Well, in fact, I think it is this. Yeah, the condition is at 90%. So things do break down. So we have a telescoping staff, um, which, let's put that in number three, and then we'll put the sentry saber in number two. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look at these. So here's the saber, let's see. Uh, use these controls to attack and block. Most melee weapon, weapons can perform three swing combos. I didn't get that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't read that. This game was a godsend because we all hate it. Yeah, we don't all hate Fallout 76. Many people think Fallout 76 is a joke, though. Yes. But we don't all hate it. Just because you hate it doesn't mean that everybody hates it. I mean, I think it's kind of a joke. And um, the fact that the Wastelanders was delayed, um, that, like, that is so typical Bethesda. So this is the telescoping staff. Wow. Let's try out a melee weapon. If this, nope, 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 we can't, we can't. Oh, he's pissed off now. Well, I would be pissed off too if I, okay, and then that's sort of, this is sort of like that's. <laughs> oh God, there's three of them. This guy's going to rush right, come right up into my face like, like a psycho raider in Fallout. I mean, who cares if you're gonna die? Let's just rush him. Ooh, that takes a long time to actually use. What? I don't know, he had a lot of health. And we're on the hard difficulty, but. Yeah, and they don't hate it. You know, like we keep using that that word hate, hate, hate. No, no, it's it's generally not hatred. It's just a uh, disappointment. Oh, it changed the position of the it changed the position of the game. Damn it! Good, at least it it saved it for me because I forgot to save. Okay, we're gonna we're really gonna have to like use vats up front. I'm just gonna call it vats because that's what it feels like. Ouch! So since I'm, stop, stop, there he is again. Can't, God dang it. I don't know, okay, we'll try it again. But you know, this is the beginning and it's really hard. So I have to get used to this type. Maybe I should actually hit him with the staff. When, when this guy comes up, we'll switch to melee. But uh, who, which one comes up to me? Is it this guy? Marauder Vandal, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that worked really well. Okay, now, reload. Good. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy that's going to come up and suck on me. Now we're going to switch to number two, and then we're going to... Oh, we did it! It worked! Oh, that's a good weapon. Yeah, when they come up and rush me like that... Hey, lady! Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chip, 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 chop. There it is. That's what I needed to do. Duh. Oh, where do you think Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be set? I think there's a good chance. Well, I don't know. I'm still thinking. Yeah, I know they do. I'm still thinking uh, Akaberry Continent. Like a totally different continent, but you know, it's like Akavir to the uh, to the west. Just like, well, what's west of Westeros? Well, Akavir. Okay, he had a bit cartridge, light ammo, and he had a Drino, and a helmet and a gear. But he did not have. He didn't seem to have a gun. Let's loot this guy. So there was someone else who. Hey, what happened to his body? 
body's gone. So there, I killed two people. Oh, there's his. There's what's left of his thingamajig. So where's the body? I don't know. Can't find it. Well, anyway, let's not spend too much time here. Let's keep moving. We killed somebody over here, down here. So let's grab that and loot that. Miss anything up here? No. Wow, look at this, though. And this is on really high settings, too. So I think we're going to be good graphics-wise. It's the Sentry Saber. It's the same thing as mine. Um, yeah, Akabir is west of uh, Tamriel. Yeah, two, it's like the continent uh, across the ocean. If you ever wonder what's west of Westeros, well, it's Akadir. Okay, let's look around a bit. You never know what you're going to find over here. You might find something. <sighs> there was no, like, animation or anything. That was weird. I love the textures, don't you? Amazing textures. See, there are certain times like that. You know, it was probably loading some things in. Yeah, so it, it'll, yeah, we might get some loading stuttering. Um, and they're supposed to be able to uh, improve that, but they haven't yet. Whoa, there's the Marauder ship. Look at that. There's a lot of people down there. What am I going to do? Do I really need to take all these guys out? Okay. Uh, let's take a look. The smuggler took your meeting location. Guess that means the ship is yours now if you can find it. Uh, and Codex. Oh, yeah. Look at all this stuff. Exploration. Destructible hazards. Je oh, yeah. So he did say destructible hazards. We have to look for something that we can blow up. Do I told you not to do that. I've told you repeatedly not to do that. All right, so it's reminded you so much of Fallout. I was waiting for you to grab wood off that log. Yeah, I know. I was. That's why I was. Uh, pre I walked up to it to see if I could actually loot it. Oh, great! Part right in your street. Middle of the street for five minutes. <laughs> um, Lieutenant Mercer, it looks like we could actually walk up to them and say hi. Yeah. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Is there a way I can tell oh, if these are hostile? Landing in the veil without using an official space force landing pad. Let's slap them with a pound if it weren't for all these marauders gambling about. Okay, it's well. It's just a landing violation, or so I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Yeah. He'll make it. I helped with the pain. I'm <laughs> still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Yeah, let's just let's be nice. Let's say he'll make it. Shouldn't have done that. Space's choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Oh. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay, so we could persuade or we could lie. I guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. <laughs> I bet you could get those marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Yeah, we could lie to her. Do Spacer's Choice guards really back down from a challenge? I think I might get her to uh, to attack. Well, sometimes. Hey, it worked. Real good at cost benefit analysis. But seeing as I'm the acting manager, it's too easy to it's too easy to persuade these people. You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off. Find whoever owns that ship and file a full report. Only fucking laminated. 
Here we go. Oh, it shows up red instead of white. Okay. Yep. Red instead of white. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. Did you notice somebody in the chat room seems to have a problem following simple instructions? Okay. So, uh, hey, where did they go? That is definitely the Marauder ship, but don't you love the lighting here? There's just like random lighting all over the place. But it actually, I'm, I'm not sure why the lighting is here and why it's lighting up the rocks randomly like that. See that? Oh, it's because of this. Whoa, that's cool. The, it's not the sun or anything. Oh, look, and they also have auroras, of course. So this is actually the ring of this planet, and then this is a ring of the planet over there. That is really, yeah, I do like this. There's all kinds of little flourishes everywhere that just make the game interesting. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. I was thinking you'd be able to leak some uh, plants, but apparently you can't. When I got her to attack in my game, she ended up bloody dying. Oh, she did? Oh, shoot. Uh, here's somebody. It's a resident. Oh, he died. And then what's this? Ooh. Let's take the heavy ammo and energy cell. Yeah, we might be able to use it for one of our... Nope, nope, not this. We need, like, light ammo or something for this. Hmm. Okay, let's keep looking. And it shows where we're supposed to go. And I think it's because we have the quest active, right? If we look at the quests. Yeah, see, we have this active. That's why it's showing us where to go. See? Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Um, sorry if I'm if I seem a little bit disheveled. It's because it's you know it's just a new game. I'm getting used to this game, so of course I'm going to be a little confused. There, light ammo. There, take a look. I, so you don't have specific ammo for each individual gun. It seems to be just like light ammo. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in this. Almost too much. You're right. Ooh, look at that. It's definitely getting dark now, isn't it? But <gasps> Oh no, I'm wasting it even though my health is full. Oh my god. So you can't it it doesn't know not to waste it if your health is already full. Oh, I just wasted two of them. Oh shit. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Yeah. I'll say so, <laughs> hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, baby. Okay. And I guess we have to open this up. Yep. You can fast travel to locations you've unlocked by opening your map and selecting your destination. We're still in the hard mode, so it lets us fast travel. Okay. Ah ha ha ha. And her name is Ada. Remember where Ada is? The Halcyon system tends to be confusing at times. Yeah. <laughs> They forgot to add a meteor shower. I know, exactly. Or they forgot to add, add a volcano. <laughs> okay, we'll see ya. Uh, we'll see ya, uh, John Perkins. Yeah, we'll stop. Uh, it's okay, just stop forgetting. So anyway, moving along here. Pick up weapons parts. Oh, good, I guess we can... We can, we can fix it, I guess. And here's a workbench. Well, I'll be darned. To repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons. 
On your screen, select the weapon that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do with it, repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, tinker to upgrade it. Wow. As long as no one notices you stealing, doing so will not negatively impact you stealing in any way. But if somebody does catch you stealing, oh shit, right? Well, how do I know the ones that are actually equipped? Hang on a minute, but before we do it, before we make stupid mistakes, let's, oh shit. Um, hey, unequip. What, it won't let me unequip something once I've equipped it? 73, 73, okay, so that's that's what I was wondering. Here's a sawed off shark gun, good. So these are what I have equipped and the, I have four additional things in my inventory. Um, this is at 86.9 and if this is at 100, let's just swap them out, right? Yeah, see, now, now this is, ooh, this is in really bad condition, so we have to fix this. Okay, let's fix the sawed off shotgun. Now, where's the sawed-off shark gun? There it is. Okay, so we can um, click this, and then we do repair. Yeah, what do we need to use to repair it? Your weapons parts, we have 15 of them. Yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. Um, so how do I repair it? Oh, E. E, E, E. Oh, we only have 15, so we can't repair this. We can repair this. It only takes six, so let's repair it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then 96. We might as well repair this too. And we have armor that's uh, almost in good condition, but not quite. So we have this tinker, tinker, -er. it's all like one bench. I kind of like this. Hey, Mystic is here. Hey, Mystic and Bo PD is here. And hey, PD. Uh, did I miss? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a volcano in the distance. Oh, I didn't see that. We'll have to check it out. Um, Havan said that there is a volcano, actually. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let's tinker with something. Let's uh, try upgrading our... How do I know which one I have installed, though? I mean, which one I have equipped? How can they all be at one... Oh, 100%. I just got a uh, duty do. Oh, to tatted up, donated ten. Oh, thanks so much. Thanks, tatted up. Tatted up. Tatted up. Send police and flip a doodle for the forty-five dollar donations. That really, you know, all these donations are really going to help because, uh, you know, I'm, be I'm in the interview process. But anything you 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 donate. It's going to go a long way, and I'm using it to buy cheap but healthy foods. That's the only thing I'm using these uh, uh, donations for is healthy food. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, well, this is the only staff I have, so why don't we tinker with it? Yeah, let's... Oh, we need bits. But I can break down things. Yeah, let's break down. So how do I know what I'm... How do I know which one I'm... is hotkeyed? Yeah, it doesn't actually tell me. Or maybe it won't let you break down the ones that you've got in your inventory. I mean, that are hotkeyed. Okay, let's break it down, and we will get weapons parts. 
yeah. I don't want to break down, modify, break down, and break down. There we go. There, see, we got it. So we have all these weapons parts now. We might be able to repair the shark gun. Ah! We're missing one. Okay, let's tinker with something. Let's tinker with this. How do you get bits? I'll have to learn about bits. Oh, hey, Trent Gullery. What's up? Hey, Trent. Ooh, I have to remember to blink and drink. Things to remember. One, blink. Two, drink. Okay, got it. Blink, drink. How hard can that be? And then what do I do? I forget to blink. Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Now, oh, why don't you shut up? Where is she? Okay, can't go there. Uh, ooh, you could go up here though, right? Yes. Let's see what's up here. Seems like you should. Seems like there's something interesting up here. Whoa, this ship is huge. What is this? Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. Yes, it does. Why would she say that if it didn't? See, I told you. Requires a power Marauder. regulator. Please be informed, this ship does not possess a working power regulator for you to steal. Oh, I think that we're going to steal this ship. Yeah, we have... Yes, it is. It's in the fracking ship. That using the machine will not <laughs> Vocational competence respecification. This allows you to respec. No, no, no. Not 500. We don't even have 500 bits yet. If you have Discord Nitro, then you can get an Xbox Game Pass for three months. Yes. Yes. Thanks to Snuffles, I grabbed it. And we're, we're playing this. Oh, how's the gym going? Uh, uh, good. I'm in Indiana. Um, so my, you know, you know my fitness is... Um, um, just taking a slight detour, but um, I have a decent gym and it's better than nothing. I actually posted my uh, what my gym looks like on Instagram and on Facebook. And you guys can follow me on Instagram if you like, and you can watch. Oh, here's my Instagram. There's the, there it is, Colby Horse. Did you end up finding an in real life job? I know you were looking. Hey, David. Uh, nope, we're still in the. Uh, I'm still in the interview process. So there are many companies I'm interviewing with. It's just you know, for my level of seniority, it takes longer. And you probably know that the more senior your um, your skills are, and the more senior roles that you shoot for, the longer it takes. Just like if I were to. I mean, I'd never do this, but if I went for a CEO position right now, it could take me a year or even two years. Some CEOs take two years before they land that CEO role. And, you know, for me, it's going to probably take another month, I think. I've been at this for three months now. So it's it does take, it is a process for sure. Apex transport. Triangulum colony. The unreliable. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I wonder if that hurts me. I mean, it hurts my saber when I do that. Let's, oh, that goes back outside. But it doesn't tell you it goes back outside. I just have to remember that. Okay, so what's this? No. Hello. There she is. Turn off top on. chat and turn on live chat. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yep. Snuffles is right. And then top, ch yeah, you, you have to turn top chat to live chat because sometimes it might filter out some stuff. Hey, Captain George. Thanks for coming. 
thanks for being here and thank you everyone for sticking around okay uh so what are you going to do self-destruct is something supposed to be happening <laughs> My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh. <laughs> so I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Oh, oh, he died. Yeah, yeah, he died. <laughs> it is an option. I understand. <laughs> I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Oh, I, I bargain shop, so it's about the same. Yeah, like my healthy versions of the stuff like uncured bacon. Yeah, uncured bacon is about twice as expensive as regular bacon. But um, with the, you have to sh just shop for the right deals. And we have all sorts of good grocers around here, including some Amish grocers that sell fresh bacon that's totally uncured. See, so we'll drive over there and grab it. And then it winds up about the same price. Uh, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. I, you need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. There we go. Unfortunately, our engine is currently in operation. Yeah, it's just like Miss, it's, it's Mrs. House. It's like Ada House. Ada House. <laughs> What'd you eat today? Oh, I ate a house. Main drives power regulation regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? So that was the thing we saw back there. But I am an engineer, so I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within the work environment falls within an acceptable parameter for certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of work environments. I have taken a look at you for 20 years in the new cartridge identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the rest but of I'm the not. and captain of the unreliable. My name is Dragonflugan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Captain Hawthorne of the unreliable. I like it. <laughs> it's called the unreliable. Can we rename this ship? Oh, that would be cool if you could rename the ship. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Yeah, so I died and came. Boy, she's pretty dumb if she thinks that. All right. See, now this is slightly messy. She was about to say something and then this stopped. You've gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character and advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Let's view the ledger. Well, you can't view the ledger. Oh, tab to view the ledger. There we go. Ant Cleo management train skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points. Okay, core skill. Blah, 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 blah. Or you can every every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every twenty points. So really, read each skill uh, description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. Okay. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Oh, you could name your character after Captain Hawthorne. Okay, so here's my character. His name is Dragonflugen. All right, and I look like it looks too much like a girl, so I'm going to have to do something about that. That is not what I ordered. Look like a gay Cabriel. Okay. So I have 10 points. 
Ooh, it gave me 10 points. That seems like a lot. But, 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 but. Okay, so I, I need more ranged. And I need more melee. I need more defense. I haven't really done any defense yet. Uh, let's, let's add one to dialogue, one to stealth, one to tech, and then uh, one to leadership. Yeah, it's good to kind of be well-rounded, but now we have to, we should add more to tech, I think. I'd like to focus more on tech. And then let's also focus one more on uh, ranged and maybe one more on stealth. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just making things up. Okay, there we go. Oh, and every tw remember it said every 20 points you get a you get a special thingamajig. See? Tinker, improve your weapons and armor in the workbench, and then hack is now you can unlock the ability to sell goods to vending machines. Oh, that's that's a cool thing. Like you have to keep level not only do you level up the ability itself, but then you'll unlock a little flourish thing. See? Okay, well let's do that later. All right. Yeah, I know about the G headaches. Uh, he's talking about, uh, uh, we're talking, this is like pilot stuff. Um, uh, yep, I've had, I've had similar issues. Um, uh, but not, you know, I'm only, I'm not a fighter pilot, obviously. I'm just a civilian pilot. And, um, yeah. Hey, yeah, you know what? The, yeah, see, so you notice it's still a little, uh, just a little um, brassy, but now my uh, shampoo can correct this color. So it's only a matter of time until I correct this now. Awesome. All right. Adjusted skill. Okay, so we're, we're we're done with that for the moment, right? Yeah, points. It. Now we have perks. All changes will be lost. Oh, I see. You have to specifically apply them. Yeah, I want to apply. Time dilation location hits. Hit effects. Hitting enemies in different locations during TTD uh, maims or cripples those body parts. Try different locations to see what different effects. Hits until the chest produce different effects when used with different weapons. Okay. Good. Unlock the second drug mixing slot for the inhaler. Oh man, this is really deep. Oh, so how's it going with uh, with me? Oh, I'm still in the interview process. I'll be in the interview process for a while yet. Oh God, will you enough with that? Good. So I have one perk available. Requires five previous perks, and then requires ten previous perks. What does that mean? Okay, so any of these toughness. 50%, oh, plus 50% base health, we might need that. Vendor prices, tactical time dilation meter max. Damage when alone in party. When alone in party. Oh, when adventuring alone, okay. Lone wolf, stride daughter. Permanent pep, ooh, plus 25% walk speed. They're not slow, you're just fast. 20% sprint speed or high maintenance, you take better care of your weapons than most people. So they, yeah, your weapons last longer. Precision, companion critical chance, base armor rating. Oh my God, look at all this stuff. i am It's falling right out of my brain when I'm thinking about this. Base armor, okay, additional ammo stock on vendors. Carrying capacity, I don't need that yet. Tactical time dilation recharge rate. Ability to fast travel when encumbered. <laughs> XP from companion kills. I'll level up faster. Oh, no, no, no. Only companions. Companions, companions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want something that will increase my experience points. But I don't see anything, so I guess it's going to be base health for right now. I know it's boring, but... 
that's my perk okay let's apply it yeah I want to accept oh I have to push it Doom. details reputation and journal good and now we have to find there um, our ship is called the unreliable but we have to find a power regulator talk to whomever runs to town we have to go to Edgewater that's supposed to remind you of Good Springs. Okay, let's go over to Gutenspringen. This does feel sort of like Fallout New Vegas all over again. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, it's sealed. Okay, let's see what's up here really quick. Ooh. All doors will remain on security lockdown. This is the uh, cafeteria. Wait, it seems like I was already in here. Wasn't I already in here? Look at these refrigerators. Gourmet salt tuna fillets. You call this a refrigerator? Fucking refrigerator. Okay, and then all kinds of Oh, I'm 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 hitting stuff and it's not it's not even <sighs> That seems too static. Doesn't it seem way too static? You doing a full playthrough of this? Only if um, whole audience wants me to. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I might do a, a full walkthrough, but actually it's unlikely that I will. I might just do random streams of this game. You know, I'll just like periodically uh, stream it to show you my progress, because otherwise it's this would be a lot of streams, I think. It'd be a bit too many streams. And I want to cover other games besides just this. Uh huh. So, do I need to. Let's not do the workbench right now. Yeah, let's go out to uh, Good Springs. Ooh, there was no loading. Did you see? There was like no loading uh, screen. That's awesome. What? It wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Uh, you sure walked in it like it was your ship. Yeah, and yeah. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Space's choice a hefty fine. Oh, no. Well, we gotta dock your pay. Well, after I patched up your friend? Oh, come on. Yeah, fair point. I'll let it go. Ah, it worked. If you're looking to help us out with our Marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Okay, let's... Edgewater's Constable Reyes over in Gutenspringen. Here, over past the cemetery. Ooh, the Good Spring Cemetery. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay, now if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay, take care. Get the fuck out of my face. Eh? Anyone else? Anyone else feel like saying something to me? Nope, I guess not. So let's go to Edgewater. So Edgewater is over that way. Ooh, a feral can, can did. Ah, it's over this way. Yep, Edgewater's over there. Oh yeah, but what's this over here? Uh, I'm also wondering if I can loot any of these flowers and, and things, but I can't. No particle debris effects like a mod from Fallout 4. Ooh, we discovered old wreckage. Yeah, there must be something here. Yeah, weapons debris. You're right, weapons debris. Well, there might be, actually. Let's shoot this weapon once. Yep, well, no, there isn't. It's... Oh! oh, my God! Oh, my God! I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know they were going to throw rocks at me. Oh, my God! Help! Help! Where is she? Come on, let's bring her, let's bring this monster over. Oh yeah, he's following me. I shouldn't have even looked around. Help! Help, lady, don't just stand there. Good. Well, where'd he go? Oh my god. Uh let's let's eat some food. Maybe we can um yeah. I would rather Oh, here it is. So let's 
So where's where's my health? Am I supposed to like guess what my health is? When I go into that okay, tartara sauce. Great on fish sticks. Meat base health plus twenty-five last two minutes. Why can't I use it? Oh F use. Pre-sliced bread. Plus two hundred natural health regeneration. Oh, these are like little buffs. Okay, so they're not really things I can. Yeah. Okay, so this won't permanently restore my health. Yeah, okay, okay. It's got to be this. It's got to be one. Number one. No, number F, F, F. There we go. Ooh, it worked. So it's going to be like that. Oh man, that's not good. I'm going to. I'm glad that didn't come up while I was attacking them. Okay, let's try that again. So they went back to where they came from. There they are, right there. Ooh, look at that. Burrows into the ground between attacks to evade enemies. Can maim enemies with a flurry attack. Ooh. So once he comes up to me, then I'll hit him with this. Or I could whip out the shotgun. Well, I don't know which one that would be. So one of my what? Keeping your company gear in top tip-top shape is expected, and something you're carrying needs repair. Don't pop it up. Let me guess, it's the, it must be this, it must be this. Can we repair it in the field? Yes, we can. No, we, but we don't have enough for it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. Whoops, see, I'm still getting used to it, obviously, right? I'm making, I'm pushing the wrong buttons and stuff. Okay, what was I doing here? So there is a monster over here. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, oh my God, I, I can't even see what I'm doing here. Let's uh, switch to this, and I know he's right behind me. There he is. Rawr. Oh God, here he comes. Can you please like, um, Come over here, please. Yeah. No, he won't. See, there's like a threshold. There's a certain threshold. And he better not be back up to full health. That's not even doing any damage. Look at that. That seems to put them back up to full health. That's not doing a damn thing to him. Look at that. Look at that. And there's two of them, so I can't really... Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Chop, chop, chip, chop, chip, 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 chip. Ooh, he's like blocking me. Ouch. Ugh. Chop, chip, chop, chip, chip. Oh, he, he just burrowed. Like the mole butts. Remember the mole butts? And up. Oh, chop, chip, chip. Ouch. Chop, chip, chip. Stop blocking me. Good. Kill them. You... There. Oh God. Okay, and then your turn. Hey, baby. Chip, chop, chirp. Where is this health? You know, it's half the time I can't even see where his health is. Well, that wasn't so bad. I don't know how it got into that screen. Okay, so now that we've killed these guys, why don't we go over and loot them all? Oh, it's a brain. Somebody collects, hopefully we'll find somebody who collects brains.
How's everything sounding? Is it okay? Hope oh. <gasps> Ship shop. It's a primal behemoth, which I, I think I just bit off more than I can chew. Yeah, that's too much. Okay. Okay. Behemoth means big, so uh, why don't we get the puck out of here? No, nope, there's too many. Okay, too many things happening all at once now. Come on, come on, come on. Run, sprint, sprint, sprint. Do I have like a maximum uh, sprint? No. Nope. I don't see anything like that. Where is he? Now they're going back. <laughs> it seems like uh, once they go back, they recover all their health. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. They do regenerate. Well, I guess everyone, if I can regenerate, they should regenerate. And this was just kind of like a side trek. You know, we don't even have to be here. But I thought I would check it out anyway. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Marauder Thug with a mining helmet. Okay, so now we got some armor. When do we get a helmet on? I've got a helmet on. They're rebuilt mining gear, so this is a little bit better than what I have right? The suit is designed to be used in hibernation pods. Yeah, see, this is just there. There, see, now I got something. Good. There we go. So now I have a little more armor than I had before, see? And our infantry. Oh, here's a, a tall bass stick. That's even better than this, it looks like. Special effects knockdown, and this is a stagger. So this can knock down enemies, though. Maybe I should, uh. Let's swap it out for a bit. Let's try it out. There it is. That's it. Ooh, yeah. Bits. We got 10 bits. So now we. Th that's where you get bits. You have to find, like, bit cartridges. Oh, got it. You have to loot dead bo- Not again. Oh, shit. Now I'm going to switch to this. Actually, let's let's do this. Let's switch to number three. Three, three, three. Get out, get out, get out. I, I'm running as fast as I can, but I didn't get him. I don't know. So... I forgot to save, too. I don't know if you can even save in this game. Oh, it did. It saved. See? But I have to kill all those people all over again. No, actually, no. I killed these guys already. So now we just have to go over and loot those uh, uh, bodies again. Maybe if I go over here, they won't know I'm here. So it doesn't actually, your scope doesn't tell you if you're detected. You have to look at each individual <laughs> monster. Oh, look. Now, where was that guy again? Oh, it already, but it counts. It already counted as if we already looted that. No, it didn't. We've gotten a weapon modification. Install mods at a workbench. Good. So we just looted a mod. I'll find that out in a minute, what we looted. There's our bits. Okay. Now how would you save a game? Just like that. Okay. That's how you save. So we were just uh, running on auto saves for a while. And that that's... Good. That's what you have to do. You have to look around and loot. You have to find bodies and loot them. See what we're doing? Where is he? No, no. Run. Too many. Too many all at once. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And where are they? Ah! You're supposed to turn back. Oh, they're still following us. 
Oh my god, maybe they'll follow me all the way up here. Don't you dare. Nope, they'll turn around. Oh, they're coming all the way over here now. Do you even care? No, now they're going back. Enemies respawn after a while? Okay. They could. Yeah, they probably do. But hopefully they don't respawn like instantly. Okay. All right. See you later, madam. Sorry I missed your uh, message early. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, I am liking the game. It's just, I can tell it's going to take a while to get used to this game. That's for sure. Good, got him. And, but they all come at me. Look at that. Look, they're all coming at me like a. Okay, let's, let's load the game right from where we manually saved it. Yeah. We have uh, one hour and ten minutes to go, and then once I have um, far, uh, once I've um, uh, gotten past this point, I think we'll really start getting into the game. You know, it's uh, where you go to Edgewater, so you're you're really you don't even have to be here if you don't want to. Oh my God! So we already looted these guys now. Let's see there. Why do they throw three of these? gigantic pigs at you. You've taken N-ray damage. I don't know what N-ray damage is. Okay, too many things going on all at once. You've taken N-ray damage. What is that? They shouldn't throw so many things at you all at once in the beginning. But granted, they did ask me to go to Edgewater. They didn't say you had to go and kill all these monsters. Oh, I'm right in the middle of them now. Thanks for spawning me right into their den, you tits. You developers from hell. Here, let me, actually here, let's, ouch. Uh, don't worry, I'm okay. It's all right, it's, all, hey, I bet you can't get me up here. I can't, oh, it's not even letting me jump up there. Because I'm not, it was too high to jump. Okay. Well, we looted what we wanted. Hey, man. Hey, Journey. Okay, and then, of course, and then it goes into that because I was typing. Ooh, hey, he had a bit cartridge I didn't see. Row! Row! Yeah, row! Okay, let's go. Run, 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 run. I guess you can just sprint indefinitely. There doesn't seem to be a bar or anything. Yeah, so I can just sprint, sprint, sprint. Where are they now? Good. Okay, so we looted that area. Let's go to, uh, yeah, let's go to uh, Good Springs now. Off to Guten Springen. Ooh, now it's, I'm gonna go to that planet. And this is our planet's rings right here. Isn't that cool? Ooh, is this the path to Gutenspringen? It's a marauder. So these guys will kill me. There, I think I killed him. So one less, one less marauder to answer. Haha. -ha. Can't hit, can't hurt me. Good, and then that also kind of distracts them when I hit them like that. Ooh, ooh, sneaky. Ah. There, he's dead. We're good, we're good. I need to find the quick save button. Yeah, I don't want to have to keep doing that every time. Good, we got bits from him, see? And we are using a light pistol. We should repair that sharp gun, and then we should start using that at closer range. Yeah, sentry saber. I've already got one. Good, bit cartridges. Yeah, we can repair stuff now. Ammunition. What, we, what you got over here? 
Adreno. The, the loot seems awfully uh, basic, though. That's the only weird thing about this. Well, so far, it seems a bit basic. Ooh, look. It's definitely totally open world, see? And we've only discovered this area so far. This is just like one little planet. Oh, looks cool. We could go down to the beach. Well, this seems to be the way to go, right? I think we were going the right way. That another way you could go is up through that rock face because there's something over there. Look, look, what is that over there? So you can actually, why don't we discover that? Yeah, remember, this is not a linear game. It's open world. You can discover stuff. It's a marauder. Yeah, I'm getting better at getting these guys safely. Oh no, there's more people behind us though. Oh no, you, he killed a resident. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Three, ouch, ouch. There, your turn. Ha ha. Chop. Chop. Cut. Kill them. I think there were only two, right? Oh, nope, there's another one. Now I have to, yeah, I have to heal. Hurry up, hurry up, reload, reload, reload. He's dead. No, he's not. <laughs> now he's dead. There. Good. Oh yeah, after <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> well, I'm I'm still kind of out of my element a little bit in this game. I'm not um uh I'm getting used to it. But, oh, see, look, there's another primal behemoth. He's, like, there seems to be a primal behemoth guarding every piece of uh, wreckage. Now, why would that be? That doesn't even seem right. Wow, look at that grass. There's a lot of grass in this. Uh, they really spared no expense on the grass, did they? Who's that? It's a marauder hooligan. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's gonna know I'm here in just a minute. Oh, he knows I'm here. So I guess, well, we should start the battle, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute, he's doing, he's got a lot of hit points, actually. What's going on? Use your, qu I missed it, I missed it. They do the same thing. Use your something. Use the emergency medical inhaler. There it was. Use your quick melee button to knock back enemies with your ranged weapon. T. T, T, T. Okay. T, T, T. Got it. Now I know what quick melee is. Now, they've got a lot of health. Maybe, now, and there's too many of them. There's one of me and like 10 of them. Okay, I don't think I meant to go there yet. Let's, let's go over to Good Springs like they told us to and we'll level up there, and then we can go back and deal with them later. Sound good? Ouch! Stop it! So how you upgrade weapons? Is it like, yeah! Yep, tat it up. You can uh, repair. You can repair weapons. This is the way to Gutenspringen, Gutenspringen, Gutenspringen. This is the way to Gutenspringen so early in the morning. Ooh, it's amazing. Look at that. Okay, there's Good Springs. Hmm. But what's weird is it seems blurry. Why does it seem blurry? There is the volcano. Look, it's erupting. That's weird that there's a volcano there. Are you gonna hurt me? Hello, drill bot, drill me. 
Hey, baby. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory. Yeah, I learned. Yeah, I'm. My pod crashed in the hills back there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium. No. It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Okay. Of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. prices. Okay, sure. Uh, never got your name. I'm Dragon Flugan. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Name Silas. Okay. Soon you're in humor for the town of Edgewater. Okay. Good. This place looks like it's falling to pieces, actually. Ah, uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. Mm -hmm. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here, but we do belong here. Mm -hmm. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. I see. Okay, I'll be on my way. Bye. Oh, I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Good. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our kids, right? We rent them from the company. Renting means yeah, I'll check the settings in a minute. Paperwork. It might be the settings. Paperwork means signature. Some of our families become a might delinquent in paying the mm -hmm. dues, you see. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Four workers still haven't paid up. There. Willis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. <laughs> Abernathy. That's case. from Fallout. Another Fallout way. reference. They're doing that purposely. Where can I find all these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Uh -huh. Willis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... Well, I ain't seen him in a few days. Oh, shit. His is near the cannery. Okay, we'll start He'll with the cannery. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Uh, I'll be back. Okay. There it is. You can change your active quest. So apparently you can only have one active quest at, at one time. So right now, it's still Stranger in a Strange Land. We have to find a power regulator to get off this rock. Yeah, it's, it's like blurred. So I... It's not because of motion blur. Because if I turn motion blur on to 100. Now watch. See, that's just motion blur. See, that's what motion blur looks like. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, but I'm going to turn that back off. I want to turn motion blur down to like 20%. But that won't change the blurriness of the landscape itself. It is blurry. It's like it's trying to save, and I have all of my graphic settings turned up to Maximus. See? Ultra, 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 ultra. I mean, if this is ultra, then you saw that, right? Ultra, 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 ultra. So, I mean, if this is ultra, then what does like a low look like? Low look must look really bad. Hey, let's not ask anybody. Hey, Nedum. Hey, Nedum. What's up? Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I sorry I missed you. Nedum is here. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Oh, if you guys don't mind, everyone, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't clicked like yet. Could you please click like? Thanks. Ooh, examine. Lifetime net value 8,112 bits. Ooh, we could. Do you think they buried it with her? Ah, ah. Turn into a grave digger. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Um, oh, there's like broken houses. Oh, somebody's building a house over there. Okay, let's go to Edgewater. Oh, we'll look around the perimeter later on. Wow, look at all these things. Whoa. This is just one little area. This is just the beginning. Think of this whole area as like, you know, the tutorial, chapter one, getting to know the game. That's all this is. The game is much larger.
Ooh, edge water. Here we are, edge water. So now we're here. There's a lot to do in edge water. Ooh, there's the cantina. What's back here? I I knew there was something back here. See, no one is going to, no loot will get past me. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to check. I'll check behind all of these um, buildings later on. But I don't want to bore you to death. But you saw what I just did there. I'm gonna go back and do that to all of them. There's a barber shop. Should we go in? Nah, not right now. Can I see my character? Can I see my character, please? Let's look at our key bindings. Controller vibration, button layout, edit key bindings. Strafe right, turn right, jump, sprint, crouch, use, interact, reload holster. I knew that. Power attack. Oh, hold power attack. Quick melee is T. I'm going to have to remember that T. Tactical time dilation. Companion move, hold, follow, companion attack, companion true special, but we'll learn the companion stuff later on. Weapon radial is the middle button. Yeah, oh, there it is. Quick save, F5. Menus cannot be rebound. Character menu, journal, companion, comma, 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 comma. Antichrist, antichrist. There. F5. Ha, it works. That's a quick save. Ooh, hey, there's Halcyon. Let's see, what is this? Wanted, dead or alive. Are these either of these people what we're looking for? Why do they make it look so I'm wild westy? In the cannery today. At least you got your help. Caesar's choice takes care of its own. What's in here? Well, what is this place? Oh, it's the constable. And I think we have to talk to the constable, right? Talk to whoever runs the town. I think it's the constable. Hello, constable. No, 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 no. I'd be stealing that. What shares? Oh, no, constable. No, 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 no. She, she'd watch me hack it, and then she'd get pissed off. Just two? That's weird. There's only two planets? Okay, let's talk. No, ooh, Corona One. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand. Yeah, the Constabulary. Stuff. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. <laughs> if you need help with your marauder problem, I'm for hire. I've got some questions for you if you don't mind. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Okay, okay. So, uh, does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? I don't know. Yeah, I'll tell her about that. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Um, yeah, he kidnapped me, unfroze my body, and shot me into space. Then I landed here. Mm -hmm. Shot you into space? You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice constable is a violation of company policy. <laughs> punishable by fire. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, it's a good thing I don't belong to the Spacer's Choice family. If the board's paying, I'm willing to collect on that bounty. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. Oh. And Wells is wanted by the board. Uh huh. If you have information related to the location of Phineas B. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Oh. Uh, there was one other thing. I, I thought you were the board authority. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings. Okay, I don't also, care. I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot. Okay, all right, so who do I have to talk to? 
Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the ground. Okay, fine. Groundbreaker, what the hell's that? Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Oh. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Oh, it's an orbiting space station. Anything else I can do for you? No. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll talk to her about the how you know the marauder issue later on. Okay, so we have to find out who's in charge. But, for a year. but that was supposed to be her. Talk to whoever runs the town. So actually, let's ask her who runs the town. Interesting jumpsuit you've got. And by interesting, I mean suspiciously I, reminiscent of comfort. I'm not wearing a jumpsuit. As long as your questions fall within. So who do you work for? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found no. anything <laughs> in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serves Spacer's Choice. Oh. Who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary. No, I've already, All she's already said board. that. I must admit it bothers me. So you're basically a bureaucrat. There was one other Something thing. To report? Uh, yeah. No, nothing. So she does not run the place here. She doesn't run the... We need to find who runs the, the place. And it should be on our blip, on our map, right? Oh, straight ahead, up in the cannery. Thank you for being here, everybody. Now stick around and uh, click the like button if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, click the like button. And also, one other thing is uh, um, I will be streaming uh, Wednesday and then Friday. So uh, we still have a good 45 minutes to go on this stream, but then I'll be streaming on Wednesday. Wednesday is the next one. When life gives you lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Spacer's Choice. Trouble ticket priority. Eh. Let's look at. Okay, this is really just lore and stuff. See, just a lot of lore. All right. All right. Which there's nothing. This looks like something you could interact with, but you can't. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, workbench. Oh, I got experience points just by discovering that workbench. Okay, so we have a mod. Let's take a look at our mods, actually. Where are the mods? General modifications. Okay, there we go. I have a increases body armor and helmet armor. Ooh, a set of armor plates. Yeah, let's, let's uh, modify that. Wait a minute. Oh, I was wearing that. And I forgot to put these helmets on. Whoa! Patch low pressure helmet. Yeah. 4-4. Four, four. And now we're going to modify this. Yeah. We're going to take... This is what I'm... I guess I'm wearing this. I don't know. Yeah, I must be wearing this. So I'm going to push that. And then we're going to install a mod. And let's let's make this toughened. Yeah, install the mod. Modify rebuilt mining gear with toughened. They can't be recovered. Yep, there we go. But where does it show? Oh yeah, it's toughened. You see that? Now the modification says toughened. Yeah. And then you can compare it to. Well, oh, there. Ah, oh, cool. See, now you move and then compare. And then you mouse over this, and now you can see how it compares to the other one. Ah, oh, neat. But this is toughened, and why is this more? Oh, I see. This is, this is without toughened. OK, good. So now, let's make sure, yeah, we have the toughened mining gear. Good. Yeah, 
I got it. That works. Spacer's choice sounds like some kind of overbearing regime. I know. any bucks <laughs> okay uh, I'll deal with more of that later on but for now let's ooh pick up the bypass shunt yeah that is actually a uh, thing for the terminal now I don't think we were able to hack this terminal were we no see you can't you can't hack it there's nothing to hack oh shit there what's in here uh-huh Where are we? Come on. That goes back outside, but now what's well now what's over here? Uh-huh. And um what is that? Oh, we have to I'm trying to open this up but I can't because I need two more one more of those uh thingamajigalas. Toss ball blocker. What is that? Toss ball blocker. I think that was a weapon. It was. It was. Whoa! 113 damage per second. And this only does 54. Why, why do you not let me take it off? Why? What's your problem? Okay, well, anyway, we got the toss ball blood. There it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, this will do a lot of damage. Good. Let's go upstairs and check it out. Yeah, this is reminding me of Dishonored and uh, Bioshock at the same time. Precise bread, noodles. What's in here? Gourmet salt tuna fillets. At least that, that was in the cabinet. Huh? Bit cartridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some kind of chess game. That was uh, Arkahar. Good. Oh, there's too many, too many things to uh, explore here. Wow. Hey, Zach, what's up? Oh, thanks, Zach. Yeah, um, I apologize. Normally, it's even higher quality than this. It's normally very high quality. It's just uh, my stream or my uh, speed limit is only about 12 megs up, so I can only stream this in about 7 megs right now. That's unfortunate, isn't it? But, oh, well. Ooh. Open last search. Ooh, they were searching for Indumati. Ooh. So pause if you want to read this. See, I'm just kind of like looking at a couple of these uh, things just to get Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Open last entry. Ah. One record found. Open last entry. Interesting. Into work at the cannery. Okay. Fine. What's this? Ooh, yeah, let's open it. Oh, we opened it. Criminal activities. Trespassing. Did anyone see me do this? Nope, no one saw me do that. I'm glad no one saw this. We got three more. Yeah, let's. I don't even know what building I'm in right now. It just says Edgewater. What's over here? Yeah, I do like uh, looting stuff. So we'll just. To, oh, and I suppose no one ever thought of a uh, flashlight. Yep, I don't have a flashlight. Ooh, that's cool. 
Ha! Huh. Necklace. I'll sell that, right? Mm hmm. Hey, lady. Oh, there's the cantina over there. We'll have to go to the cantina in a minute. Yeah, this is pretty nice. This is a lot of fun, actually. I'm just learning the game, that's all. It takes a little while to learn a new game. Um, a lot of it is familiar. It should feel familiar. You know, it's kind of a fallouty like sort of. Okay, let's get out of here. So there, we just explored that whole house. Uh, it looks like you can actually go into a lot of these buildings, but like this one, you can't. And it doesn't actually tell you which buildings you can go in. See? That's odd. Hey, lady, who runs the whole... It doesn't matter, because we know that our objective is over here. See? Saltuna Cannery. So, somebody, whoever runs this town is in here. But I wanted to go to that cantina. It's like over there somewhere. Yeah, so where is the, uh, let's take a look at some of the things that we collected. Um, see all these things though, look. Like we would drink this before we did vendor stuff. Plus 200 natural health regeneration. See, that'll help us. And then um, uh, adrenaline booster. Movement speed plus 20, but this only lasts 15 seconds. So why would I go into my inventory and uh, press that if it's only going to last 15 seconds? Well, I guess let's go to the cannery, right? And then we'll find all the other fun things like the cantina and such. Spacer's choice. Hey, baby. Why, why, would, why would this R and the H be missing from the same exact place on both signs. Hmm. Hmm. That seems unlike, ooh, I'd be stealing. Anybody watching me? Are there any cameras? Oh, no one ever invented cameras in the game. Good. Whoa, this is a big place. Yeah, this feels like a combination of Fallout, Bioshock, and Dishonored. Hey, don't just walk by me. <laughs> yeah, 22 people. We still have uh, <clears throat> 35 minutes to go. Let's uh, just fart around. Let's find our target, who is probably... Uh, Bones and gears don't mix. Okay. Huh? Ooh, that looks like fun. Okay. Yeah, this is really just uh, random stuff. Oh, except this. Gourmet salt tuna. And here's Amapots. This is used to repair armor. Does anyone see me? It's a big place. I can't tell if anyone's looking at me or not, so let's not steal it. Hey, Adreno. Do you hear the music? It's like guitar music. Ooh, it's a vending machine. And I suppose I can't steal that either. Yeah, a hex skill of 20 allows you to sell items, and I don't think I have it yet. No, I. yes, I do. Okay, so I could buy this. I could buy a frozen dinner. He has 25% health. Base health plus 25, and then that lasts two minutes. Uh, I have uh, 100, oh, bits are actually money. Pre-sliced bread. Okay, here's the things we have. We have 128 light ammos. We have nine of these. We have 10 of energy cells. Why don't we sell like half of these? 
health gadget. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. One, two, three, four, five. There. Yeah, I'm going to sell uh, things that I we seem to have an excess of. So these seem, oh, weapon parts. Now we want to hold on to those. Um, we don't need all this stuff. If we sell this, if we sell this, then sell, sell, ding. Yeah, so it'll tell us what we can sell these things for. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. High grade ammunition. Now, we might want to save that for later. So we have only one of those, one of those. I thought we had more of those. Yeah, see, 128, six. Okay, these seem to be really easy to find, so let's sell half of them. Ding. Okay, let's get out of here. Energy cell. Yeah, let's hold on to it in case we get energy cells later. Now let's see if we had anything to actually buy that could be useful. Now we have a how many bits? We have 141. Uh, what's this? It's a light pistol. Uh, I think we already broke our pistols down, right? No, we didn't. We can sell this one. We can sell this one. Yeah, we could sell this one. Sell that one. Hey! Oh. Unlocking. Okay. There, there. Let's just... Uh, 67, 54, 67, 54, 54. Let's get rid of this. Telescoping staff was nice, but it's just a staff. Yeah, let's get rid of it. There, now we got 162. Good. Big daddies and little sisters. I know. I'm well I was thinking I would find them somewhere. Ooh, I can use a terminal. How do you hack a terminal? So no one seems to be watching me right now, right? Shh. Shh. No one seems to be reacting to me doing this. Okay, now, so it says it's locked, but uh, if I, I should be able to bypass it, right? Logs. Turn access. Yeah, worker, work in big rates the spirit. All right, let's go up into the elevator. Let's get up in there. Oh, I like this. There's like very little uh, sense that anything is loading. I like that. Uh -huh. That's him. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer is technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small. Right? Looks good, doesn't it? That's pretty cool, right there. Got a guess. Really now, Papa, I do wish you'd spoken up. How do I? So if I w did not want to see, you can't get rid of him. You must be the town boss, Reed Thompson. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very. <laughs> I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. What? What are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved. Oh, oh, okay. Honorable apparel of a loyal worker? Oh, okay. I've got a ship in need of a power regulator. The only regulator we got is Petka, the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. Mm -hmm. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another oh. one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without yeah, let's do yourself it. in the process. I have to, okay, sure, let's hear it. 
There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. Okay. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Mm -hmm. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Okay, sure. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be alone. Yeah, so we're not stealing power. We're just stealing this little regulator. So mostly abandoned. We know what that means. There's monsters. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but mm -hmm. there are people... Let me guess, them. marauders. Okay, what a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. <laughs> the people living in the botanical lab. They're deserters. Okay. Former workers. I need them back at their post. Okay. Uh, if you want me to solve your deserter problem, I'll charge by the head. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. Oh, okay. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Oh, okay. Before you go to the plant, I so want no you to kill. stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Okay, sure. All right, I'll see what I can do. Uh, what do you think about the story so far? So far, the game is good, but the story is meh, uh, bland. Yeah, I mean, this so far it's kind of bland. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. Uh, She's dignified, kindly. Kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Okay, fine. You're asking me to cut a power to an entire community. I am asking you to help us survive. Edgewater needs more workers or we will collapse. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Okay, she'll understand that. Okay, fine. I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Okay, Parvati. I mean, that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sure. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Fulton. But I cannot deny that she is talented. Okay, sounds you good. You need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. Geothermal passcode. I'm trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Okay, we got the passcode. Sure, I could use the company. Yeah, well, she's a follower. What? I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Good. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. <laughs> it is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Okay, so now we have companions. All right, so uh, Parvati. Uh, you gained a companion. The characters that join you. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companions ledger. Okay, fine. Check your quest log for dependencies. Oh, I see. You some sort of freelancer? No. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. That sounds like uh what's her name? What's in here? Oh, what's this? Well, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so now this is her. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, fine. Let's uh now let's see what we need to go. Now we need to go to uh, Stranger in a Strange Land. So you've earned you learned that there are power regulators. Yeah. Reed asked you to deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide before you head into the geothermal plant. Okay. I see. There's kind of like that depends on this. So uh, actually comes now the power. That's what we're doing at the moment. So it's down there. Let's get the fuck out of here. Hey, Reed Queen, what's up? Yeah, sort of New Vegas character screens, but you can't move. You can't. You're stuck. Hey, Mister, can we talk? Yeah. Can we talk? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here, and you likely don't want to tag along like me. 
It's just yeah, not Mr. really. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Mm -hmm. uh, figures. Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest person. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. <laughs> it's just he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. Oh. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. Mm -hmm. I knew some of them before they left. Oh, you did. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. Not really. Did you know this Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. Hmm. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. Okay. Uh, are you sh um, you can't leave it at that. Why were Reed and Adelaide arguing? Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. Oh, the okay. Sound carried, but not the words. Okay, okay. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self. You'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. Okay, okay, we will. Uh, so how do I get out of? I, I don't want to talk to her anymore. Mr. Thompson's in the See, I'm trying. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Optional. Speak to the uh, Viker. Okay. I, I'll think about it. See, it's. A, I don't like being stuck in a conversation. I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime now. But you wouldn't know it because it's still bright. It's like um, the only way that you know it's night is that it's a bluish tint. And hey, uh, Reed, I hope you're doing great. Uh, we still have a good uh, 20 minutes to go, so stick around. We're going to visit the cantina now. Let's look around a bit more. This is what? Oh, we found the cantina. That's it. There's the cantina. Yeah, we'll go in there in just a minute. Uh, now, you know how it said, uh, comes now the power. Optional, speak to the biker. Uh, the vicar, she's a little uncertain about the task we have set before you. The vicar might be able to provide some moral guidance. So, we'll, yeah, we'll go and talk to her. Okay, okay. And she's over there. And that's the cannery, right? Oh, and there's a general store. Where's the general store? Ooh, there it is. See? And then they all show up in the see Spacer's Choice Cantina. General store. And that's the uh, what's over here? This is nothing. Because I haven't discovered it yet. Okay, let's look in the uh, character. Where is my where's my uh, uh, companion? Yeah, I, oh there he, there she is, Parvati. Oh, the companion ledger. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So she has a uh, sledgehammer, impact hammer, and then she also has light pistol, and she has a toss ball stick for when this breaks or something. I don't know. Oh, neat. And you can tell her what to equip if you want. And then this is her. See? Look! See? Distance medium. Weapons are mixed. Yeah! And then mode is aggressive. Uh, the companion always engages in attacks when the player in his combat. Once told to attack the target, a companion continues to fight until combat is over. Now we'll keep her aggressive right now. Or serves. Oh, we can choose a. So, yeah, when she she levels up, we can choose her perks. So she's got body armor. Four, three, four. Seven, four. See, we could put this on her if we want. Ah, you all hear? There. Now she looks. Ah. There it is. Yeah. What's this? Oh, nothing. Let's go in the general store. I'm just curious what's in here. Hey, general store. Do, do, do. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. What? Since that little incident. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what incident? Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. Oh, psh. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. 
Oh, she broke something. Okay, so I got some. Let's see what you're selling. Music to my ears. I just want to see what he has really quick. Yeah, merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. Okay, okay. Uh, 139. I have 162 bits. Ooh, here's a light assault rifle. Yeah, actually, I want to buy that rifle because I ain't got one. I ain't got none. I would prefer that over the shark gun. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to buy. He has a uh, light assault rifle for sale. What is this? Why is that so good? What is so big? What is so decent about this? Yeah. So anyway, it has this has a special effect of staggers. So let's let's buy it. Let's buy it. Ka flippity doodle, ka jing, and let's let's uh sell junk. What did we? I we must have picked up a bunch of junk or something. Is this junk? That's not junk. Oh, this is junk right here. Yeah, let's sell it. Ding. How much did I make? It didn't even tell me how much I made. Oh, you stupid hag. I have 197 now. Okay, there, I grabbed it. So now we have to, here's what we have to do. Now we have to get the puck out of here. Um. I want to sell something. I don't need the shotgun. Uh, what don't I need here? So if I have a shotgun, I don't need. Ooh. Let's let's uh, sell the shotgun because, and then we'll put the assault rifle in. Yeah, four, four. Of course. And uh, the toss ball stick, we might want to sell that too because uh, this is a lot better than the toss ball stick. Okay, we'll sell the toss ball stick and we'll sell the uh, shotgun that's almost busted. And uh, we'll hold on to it. We'll sell the toss ball it's stick. Shut up. Shut up. Sell. Shut up. There. Uh, tossy ball stick. Yes. We're going to sell it for five. Ding. Ding dong. Um, there. All right. Anything I can steal? Nope. Okay, that's it. Do, 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 do. Uh, what's this? And that's the cantina. Yeah, let's. Ooh, there's the barbershop. Wait, isn't this where we first went in? Yeah, it is. Somehow I missed all this. Oh, because you can go over here. And this is a maintenance station. And there's your... Yeah, and there was our workbench. Oh, she sounds different with a, with that on. Cool. No! Oh, you had a mask on, lady. That's weird. Why would they do that? Do, 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 do. Let's go into, uh, so we went, let's go into the cantina really quick. I can't wait to see what this is like. Hey, ladies. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, this looks like fun. Can I play it? Nope. Okay. What's back here? Oh, it's the restroom. Ooh, yeah. Restrooms. Never know what you're going to find in the restroom, right? <laughs> Look at the toilet. Well, there's nothing in there. And it, by the way, it's, oh, yuck, somebody sharded. Oh, you can't. You can't get in there. Which reminds me, I do need to buy those things. Gotta keep our heads up. Yeah, sure. Hey. I don't know you. I don't care. I'm dragon fluting. 
Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking. Okay, bag. good. So, uh, something going on I should know about. <laughs> Am I that easy to? Oh yes, you are yeah. easy to read. We've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're gonna have a drink, oh. I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Okay, fine by me. Let's see what's on tap. Coming right up. Let's see. So she has this that will mind attributes plus one for 30 seconds, or mind attributes plus one, uh, personality attributes plus. We already have those. Plain and pure water. Body as attributes. Body. <laughs> Uh, how much is this? Why would I buy water for 40 if I could just steal it? I'd rather just steal it. Oh, can I play it? Do, 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 do. Oh, what's in here? Oh, no one can see me. Get in here, lady. Get in there. Now, if I steal this, is she going to get pissed? What did you think of that? What goes through your mind when I steal these things? Yeah. Huh? Nope, she doesn't seem to care. Okay. Okay, we'll talk later. So, I'll just steal everything now. Good. Oh my god, bit cartridge. Yeah, let's steal all this stuff. Light ammo. Good. See? You have to just think about this. Uh, mm, what is this? Wow, this place is big. I'd steal that plant if they let me, but I can't. What's this? Huh? Heavy ammo. Good. What's that washing machine? you get out of my face, lady? What's up in there? Nothing. And what's this? Dead bodies are in here. Now watch. There's a dead body. Oh, I should check and see if someone's actually in here. I can't believe no one cared that I went through here and I'm stealing everything. See, look at all these. Light pistol. I'm going to turn around. Oh, you know what? I don't think you can sell stolen items, though, right? And if you get caught, then they suck all your stolen items away. I bet that's what happens. Mm -hmm. Anything in the toilet? Nope. Okay. And then we had one more room. What is this? Oh, it's the uh, porch. Uh-oh. <gasps> Did anyone see me do that? No, the town looks a lot bigger from up here, doesn't it? <laughs> Sectrum. Okay, so we do have uh, 10 minutes to go. Uh, is there anything that you guys would like me to do before we wrap it up? Um, my next stream will be Wednesday evening. Uh, but you know, don't leave yet. We're still we're still farting around for ten minutes, ten more minutes, and then um, also you'll kind of be able to to tell me if you want me to stream this more. I don't think we'll stream this on Wednesday, or or we might. It just depends. Um, Snufflumpagus and I want to stream this game called We Were Here. So We Were Here is like this co-op game where both of us play together and then we collaborate together in the stream and you hear her voice and all that stuff. Doesn't that sound cool? Oh yeah, we have to look for those uh, things at the general store. Where is the general store? That's the, that's the Gadron Barber Shop. There's a Gadron Cantina. Where's the Gadron General Store? What the hell? Oh, there it is. 
There's the general store. I would love to steal those right in front of this space fucking toys. <laughs> Brand of toys for space is Okay, let me see what you're selling. Easy to my ears. Yeah, we'll, we might do this again on Friday. I'd like to I'd like to get to the point where unless it's a major major release and I do a big launch party, I want it to be a different game every time I stream or every time I upload something. That way things stay pretty fresh. And it's not just a bunch of barfing out the same game over and over. Okay, sell, buy, sell. Oh yeah, we can sell this. We can sell it. And hibernation suit, do we need it? Oh, I didn't see that. Tech skills plus five. Okay, we're hanging on to that. Okay, now we're going to see if this guy will sell those. Yeah, he sells them. Mag picks. Yeah, he he only has one mag pick. Ama Ama pots. Nico pad. Oh, it's nicotine high. Is range weapon spread minus fifty? Oh, okay. Well, do I really care about that? Oh, there's the rocketeer helmet. Skin tan, armor rating plus 10, that only lasts 15 seconds. Yeah, okay. He only had one of those things. So anyway, there. So now we have to go to speak to the vicar. Or Viker Vicar Bear. Okay, any other things to uh, discover here before we get the puck out of here? What's this? Oh, we never went in here. That's Abernathy. Hey, Abernathy. Oh, sweet merciful law. He, he, he owes money. Uh, hand over your all your... No, hey, take it easy. I'm not a marauder. <laughs> I, could, I could do this now. Is there a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, sort of. Well, sort you of. Tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. That's no. Uh, you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Uh, I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? Yeah. That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He told me everything. Now, how long do you think you could keep a secret? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. Uh, the date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon... I'll be ushered, ushered to, to heaven. You. Okay, okay. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. Still got a couple decades in you? Yeah. I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. It has to, has be. to be. Okay, yeah. Okay, you're dying. All right. Sorry to hear that. You are? Yeah. Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. Uh-huh. I'll pay your fees. All right, I good. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance her for me, I could really use her. Oh, really? What do you... Oh, really? How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Oh. Stronger than what we got. Anyway. Yeah, I'll find it. Okay. I need you to break, break in, it. nab it, bring it back. All right, got it. I'll do it. Bye. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The longer I, you keep it. running your mouth. Okay, there you go. There. Uh, can we steal anything of his? He's gonna yell. He's gonna say like, "Ah, thief!" <gasps> what was that? Maybe he'll give me some money if I, you know, when I retrieve everything. Is he watching? There's no way he could see me do that. Yeah. 
What's this? Oh, his bathroom. There must be something good in here. There's nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so uh, one person paid up. What? Why? Why am I making a mistake? Oh, who said that? She did? Where are we headed? Oh, no, where? Uh, you mentioned something earlier. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? No. Why aren't you allowed in Moreau's store anymore? What'd you break? There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine. Oh, she smashed it. Must, uh, did you steal it? Not intentionally. Oh. I've always been good with my hands, right? So. Oh, you saw a lock on the machine and. Thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles. Oh, of that's what happened. Okay. Hey, Fallout King, what's up? Hey, Fallout. Okay, see you next time. Uh, X out. Okay, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to end in just like a few minutes, but I just wanted to get up to that. Um, okay, I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get back to it. Um, so we just have to talk to that uh, vicar, and vicar flicker is over here. Oh, optional speak to the vicar. Where is vicar? Where's vicar flicker? And it, if you push... No, 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 yes over here. The vicar is over here. And this is some kind of choich. Yeah, we did go in here, didn't we? No, we've never been in here yet. Hey, what's up? Oh, what did she say? She said it's too, uh, oh, look at this. Anything I can steal in here? Yeah. OSI vial, what's that? Well, no one seemed to care that I picked it up, so. Hey. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. Oh, yeah, where is the vicar? Oh, there's the vicar. Hey, vicar. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Yeah. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, sort of Gregory. And Ms. Uh -huh. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. Uh huh. And with a complete stranger. Yeah. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I mm -hmm. so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball tradition, the quickest way out of town. Yeah, in the way it, way in the rear, I chopped some of it off. So now it, it actually hangs just like uh, like normal long hair would. You know, it kind of all it none of it goes beyond here. So when I put it into a man bun, there isn't actually as much of a you know there isn't like a gigantic nest like I had last time. I actually do like a lot of hair, so I'm hoping it grows back fast because uh, you know I I want more hair than just this in the back. Okay, uh, Pravardi wanted me to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. What? I thought you would talk to him. Yes. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Ooh. Every time I've tried I to engage in a conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Uh, fix the geothermal plant. I'm going to, no, actually, let's be honest. We, he said, cut power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. No, not really. I see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Uh-huh. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. 
send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Mm -hmm. Is that even possible? Not if things are left as stand as they are. Watch. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Okay. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. Mm -hmm. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. Emerald Vale? However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. Mm -hmm. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay, fine. Uh, a handsome sum? Okay, sure. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakunu handwritten in the lower corner. Okay, mark it. I'll mark one. Yeah, mark it. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you were treated, there. you can always find me here. Okay, good. So, we talk to him. So, we talk to the vicar. She's a little uncertain. Reed has set before you the vicar might be able to provide some moral guidance. So, that's what he told us to do. So, um... Uh, Vicar said, send the power over to here and convince the people to get back over there, to get back to the city. Because if we don't do that, if we don't do that, then something, and then they're going to be attacked by marauders. That's what will happen. Okay, so now we know what's going on there. Um, this is a good place to end, okay? Um, I know it's kind of a weird night. This isn't exactly the best kind of game to stream for people, but I think we could stream it once every other stream or once every three streams. It just depends on what people want to watch, okay? Um, and I'll check with everyone over the next few days to see what they want to watch. It's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool game so far, actually. All right, well... I'm going to say goodnight to everybody. All right. Next stream is an indie co-op game on Wednesday. Okay, goodnight uh, Sonic. Uh, goodnight Fallout King 78. And let's see, um, X Out of Toast. I think he already left. Um, uh, Tattered Up is here. Goodnight Tattered Up. Uh, good night, Reed Queen and Zach Howard and um, anyone else that's still here. Well, there's a, a lot of people still watching. Oh, Nadum Onuha and then Journeyman John might still be here. Snufflepagus is still here and Oath Knigget and then Mattermost Beef was here earlier. He's streaming right now. Mr. Milk, thanks everyone for being here. And thank you for the tips. Yeah, I just have to uh, really quickly say who tip who tippered so uh yeah so, so thanks uh tattered up sand police oliver smith and snuff lumpagus for a total 45 dollar tips over the last two streams i really appreciate that okay we'll see you next time next one is wednesday night so be here on wednesday all right bye so what's the plan